Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my d Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter, those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. All right, great to be always in the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You know, a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. Backstage, the whole three piece and a soda bit, but we're happy to be here tonight. Leon Edwards approached him and he got a meal that he was not expecting. Ah. Let me tell you something, man. When you're in the arena, when you're in the O2 arena, you better be ready to fight backstage or inside the octagon. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Size as he lands the knee. 
Straight right hand now just misses. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by Choi. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lance with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. What a punch. Throwing that jab, no good. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And he landed the right hand there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just out of range with that uppercut. Beautiful punch. Ooh, head kick Lance, he's hurt. Lance with the right hand. Leg kick checked nicely by the Korean Superboy. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Great punch landing with so much power. Right on the button. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just out of range with that uppercut. Some nice back and forth action here. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, he's unable to find the target with that uppercut. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, so he lands the flying knee. Huge strike there from the taller fighter. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Short. Strong straight left there. He is going a ball straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys point. had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Who gets a turtle in that kick? Checks the light kick. Nice head kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, he 
has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Nice head kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice one, two there. Just out of range with that left hook. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Strikes here in round two. Definitely pick it up. Oh, oh, oh. Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Oh, can't put any weight on it. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, what a punch. Right hand landed. Hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking a straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's still there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house. He's him. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. 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 Tries the flying knee to no avail. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Nice high kick. Another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh! Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. So there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He 
will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. There's no tell on that leg kick. Watch the strike there, counters with a jab. That's a big hook. Nice punch, man. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had popped the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Just misses with that one. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to... Just... And you see on that punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind-up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his oh! opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple of... Oh! He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big kick land. Oh! Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. Now we go inside the Ladies Octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official the decision. Contest called to stop to this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO Assassin. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And the judges were looking at their phones. It's okay. We don't need the scorecards. Tonight. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and got the finish.